Hello and welcome to Skirtbringer. It doesn't say so right here yeah, actually. That's the Does anyone to say see the name now? Anyway. Uh yeah, this is a little a game that uh that it says it. Skirtbringer. Um yeah, this is a game uh that's in early access. Oh, I didn't skip that. I don't think so. Well, I didn't read that. <laughs> um Anyway, uh, it's a game in early access, uh, and interestingly, it was put on Xbox Game Pass, so that's a little unusual, I think. Uh, normally, you don't really have, uh, uh, you know, games that are in, in early access, I don't think so. Uh, but this one is. Uh, though it does seem very uh, polished, anyway. I think it's pretty much like. It's, it's a spade, but it's like. Kind of like a full beta kind of thing, like, you know, uh, what's that game that's that was like in beta for a while, but it was pretty much finished. Uh, I forget the name now of that game. It's on Steam, it was, uh, what was it again? I don't know, but anyway, uh, uh, alright. So I'm pressing all the buttons. I can double jump, but nothing else. So, I don't know a lot about this game. Uh, I heard it described as like a Celeste meets a roguelike thing. Uh, I, I'm already in love with the with the pixel art. It's so smooth and and like it, it pops in, in, a, in a way, you know what I mean? So I don't know how to attack. Uh, I guess X, that makes sense. Yeah, and like you, you just kind of attack guys apparently, just like that, you just spam the attack button. It's like, a little bit like, uh, like Fury, Fury, where you just kind of attack, or like, no, no, not, not Fury actually, more like uh, a Hyper Light Drifter, where you just kind of spam. But uh, in 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 two instead of you know how do I get the oh yeah I can double jump right also RP oh okay uh, so I can dash you just dash forever um what's this thing I don't know. Um, why? Okay. Yeah, so it's like... I don't know a lot about this game. Yeah, so it looked pretty. Yeah. And it was compared with Celeste a little bit, which uh, is the, the, the movement, the dashing, all that stuff. Uh, and I can fire weapons. So I can use the stick too, but it kind of auto aims, so I don't need to, I guess. But it definitely feels good so far, and I like the way. The, the, the style. I, I always like this, you know, pixel 16 bit, but not really kind of thing, where it's like smooth and pretty, and I don't know. It's like, it's, it's not really 16 bit, I don't think. But I don't really know what to compare to otherwise. Um, because it's like, you know, I don't know what to call it. Slug kebab. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. So yeah. Uh, I got a map up there I see. And like roguelikes I assume. It's like you go through various uh, dungeons. You 
uh, find the boss, you kill the boss, you continue to the next one, and it tends to be easy first of all, but then it gets harder and harder and harder. Uh, 42 uh, blood things. Oh, the f screen is randomly flashing. Like, what does that mean? Uh, oh, I can take them out like that. Uh, circle. Oh, B doesn't do anything yet. Oh, we got spikes. We got like. Not the sound tiger I was expecting, I guess. Heavy metal esque. It sounds like Doom almost. <laughs> mm. Oh, these, hi. Okay, how do I. Okay. Um, I can't. I cannot dodge through that. Or maybe I just did it too bad. Too, 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 too soon. I don't know. Hi. Ah, cough. Are you a new fated? That's grand. Been waiting for an eternity, but it's free for a new expedition. Who am I? Garrow, I guess. I'm from the expedition 6, or was that 16? Uh, what's about this place? The great ch uh, chiming tree. It's the reason you arrived here. The reason you are still alive, I guess. I can't remember why I'm here. I must help. Cough. Blood. Blood is power. Hmm, I need to think. Give the small glowing altar by the tree, thinking, thinking. Oh, the screen map here. Interesting. Oh, we got a skill tree, maybe? Permanent. Uh, oh, hmm. I mean, this is nice to have, but in general, I think this would be better. I mean, it's the first two you you can choose from anyway, so I'm sure you would get them. But yeah, I only have I only had one, so I had to choose. Really like how this game looks. Like I always like this to the art style where it's like I can't I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like it has a lot of detail. Uh, it is simplistic. You know what I mean? Hi. So I don't think I really understood how you get shots back exactly. Like, do you just hit enemies? Yeah, that's what it seems like. Hmm. Well, now it is. Very fast paced. Uh, well. A little crazy, you know. I have not played a whole lot of 2D uh, side scrolling mode, vocal lags really. Uh, not, not in the same way as this, like, kind of an into the gungeon, mining of Isaac feel where you go through the things and uh, get f upgrades, that kind of thing. It tends to be either top down or like, uh, well, yeah, mostly top down, I guess. Uh, Game's not really 2D, uh, side scrolling thing. So, also, blood choose one blood blessing. Uh, weapons drop randomly upon finishing a room. Blast dot 32 re re reloading energy slowly recharges unrushingly while there are enemies around. Okay, that's my gun, I guess. It does just drop more items with at least one health item. Huh. Judges. What? The, what is that judge? I don't even know what it means. But hell sounds useful. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. 
so that isn't so next one is an eye is that the boss maybe die I think so oh geez Uh, um, yeah, you, you, this game is. <laughs> you can easily die, and uh, I'm not familiar with the enemy behavior, so I kind of, kind of wanted to spam enemies until I killed them. And some of them, you know, that that is obviously a boss. It will take a lot more to kill. Oh yeah, yeah, I also got this. I forgot. I totally forgot about this move. I don't. Probably should have read the tutorials better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotta. I can use it against you, for example, to stun you. Yeah, that makes you very easy, cause. You, you can't really attack at all when I just stun you. Size my activity take the deposit of this friend might have unlocked an exit. Oh, the last guy is the guy talking to me, okay. Oh, okay, there's no spikes when you finish the room. I don't need you. So, is this one of those where you can leave the room and it will still be there or will it disappear? I'm not sure. Guess we'll find out. The movement is like, you can pretty much stay in air all the time if you wanted to. Because you can just dodge and attack and dodge and attack and... I don't know. So, does it stay? It does. Alright, cool. That's good to know. Yeah, very Binding of Isaac, into the dungeon, rooms, enemies, items, upgrades, that kind of thing. Which I like, you know. I guess the Rogue Legacy, that's a 2D uh, game, Rogue Lag obviously, with the name like that. And yeah, I, you know that's quite different from this obviously. Uh, and it's also more gimmicky. I not play a lot of it, uh, of Rogue Legacy. Oh, we revealed the entire map. So, I got an anvil, I got a uh, a slime, I guess. I got, I don't know what that is, down there below the animal thing. It's like a, looks like a crown, kind of, but not really. I don't know. Anyway. So, I'm wondering how useful the stun, I guess, is what that is. Is, is against normal enemies? Because I feel like I should just be doing this, but maybe it is useful sometimes. So, what are you about? Oh, here comes a, one of the new faded of the brink of madness. Welcome to your last resting place. <laughs> What am I doing here? Same thing as you, also looking for answers, though I believe there are none. So, uh, let's say I wanted these shifting walls for my own project. I can be of your assistance if you feel like it. <laughs> I'm a wandering version. To put it simply, you will most likely need goods to repel those uh, ordeals, won't you? Let me show you where's and uh, uh, I want to take money. I want those shiny doubles of yours. Do you have that use around here? And screed, by the way. <laughs> Please stop by in time. That is to say, wait, drop boots. Uh, well, I can only write this. <laughs> cucumber. Disgusting. Please make it disappear. I have to disagree. I like cucumber. But whatever. Charge back. Gives back one HP and full reloads. Blast. 32. Blast at 32. Why is it called that? Blast at 32. I don't know, is that 
Does that mean anything? Maybe it's something in this game that hasn't been explained. Machine gun? Well, I can only buy <laughs> the cucumber, so I guess I will. Got my thing for sale, faded. So... I can return to the tree? Hmm. Okay. So do you... we stuck? No, it's the same. Okay. Well, in case I may come back. I don't know. Probably not. Wait, I can... can... fast travel now. If I wanted to. That's nice to know. Okay, it's a little weird, like, you can't hold the shield button, you gotta press it all the time, which feels weird, the way this game controls, to press the R2 button. I guess I could possibly change it. Oh, I don't want to change the language. Uh, smash. So that's it. Fury attack. I don't even know what that is yet. Lock movement. Hmm. Um... Yeah, those two don't do anything yet, the L1, L2, or whatever. That guy is slow on me? Could be that this is inspired by Doom. Some of the enemies kind of have Doom-like qualities to them. Okay, maybe I was just hit by one of those. That's... I thought I exploded. So I thought you could dodge through bullets or something, like... Maybe I was reading something wrong before? I don't know. Screech position on the map throughout every realm. Hmm. Man only drop. I'm gonna face room. Uh, that's not most useful. move about a lot but it makes you really you know vulnerable it, 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 it's like it's, it's cool to move around fast and just act like a badass but uh, could also blow up I guess um, but yeah it, <laughs> it is also risky you know I don't want to do that yet. Oh god, oh yeah, mm -hmm. You can just die just like that. I'm not great at this game, obviously, I just started. Hmm, hmm, no cucumber. Be, um, pizza. Hmm. Okay, I got one more. So yeah, duh. I'm gonna get that obviously. More health in general. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, probably gonna do one more run. I wanna keep uh, episodes like you know uh, how uh, you know uh, preview episodes. You know uh, what I'll talk about. Almost forget the name. I've been embarrassing. Uh, yeah, I want to keep those shorter. <laughs> uh, I can't buy anything, so whatever. Um, I 
You wanna keep the uh, the shorter because it's just me checking the games out, but sometimes uh, I run into a game where I'm like, oh man, this is fun. I wanna keep playing, you know. Uh, the thing is, games like this are so, you know, they're so common these days. Like, it's hard to really pick one like to play and. Well, uh, I'd rather play a game where I uh, know there's an end in sight. There are ends to some of these games, you know, but a lot of them, you know, want you to keep playing forever pretty much, you know, so even when you end the game, you know, there's multiple endings, multiple, you know, there's a bunch of items and unlocks you can get, you know, secret rooms, secret floors, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, uh, that takes a lot of time knowing from experience from, uh, you know, playing games like Into the Gungeon where I've, I, I, I've not even done everything but I've done a lot of the things and it really takes a lot of time to do and also these games are, tend to be very hard uh, you know obviously they get easier but even getting you know decent at it doesn't mean you're gonna get to the end every time and whatnot so I mean that's the point obviously you know you want the game to you know, in a game that's meant to be played multiple times, uh... Yeah, man. Um... What I'm trying to say? Uh, you know, in games where uh, you're supposed to play multiple times, uh... They, they tend not to be very long, because they don't, you know... Want, they, they, you can beat them in... Most of the time, it's about an hour, maybe two. Uh, at least in Into the Guns, that's you can pretty much speed it in an hour when you know what you're doing. Uh, and some can even do it faster because they know, uh, you know, they, they, they don't do everything, you don't, they don't explore everything, you just go through it as fast as possible, you know, speed run style, you know. Uh, Yeah, you know. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, that's that's why uh, playing these kind of games makes me. I always want to take them out. You know, I play play a lot of them when they get on. You know, things like a game bed and whatnot. Because I mean, hey, it's a. Uh, it's a free game to play, and I want to check it out. And sometimes it's good, you know. I played a bit of Dead Cells. That's the that's one of them I actually finished, quote unquote. I got to the end once, <laughs> but it's one of those where you keep playing and there's even more content. And I'm like, you know, I beat the game technically. I'm good. So yeah. Um, was I saying something? It, I'm really just trying to concentrate, it's the thing and that, yeah. Yeah, so this guy is incredibly easy if you know just to do that all the time, <laughs> like, really. I wonder if I can destroy it or something. Since I played these games, I kinda guess what you can kinda do to alter things around, you know? To like, 
uh, destroy things and something else that happen than the usual thing, you know. But not not this time, I think. Gets back while it's pre only munition and makes it out to reload energy. Well, I have only two health, so that may be a good idea. Uh, you know, it may may not be the uh, long term solution or whatever. But right now, I wanna just try my best <laughs> uh, to get through a level. Uh, I've been everywhere, have I? Hmm. So, can I buy anything useful? Straight shotgun. Uh, stun enemy damage. Well, I can't buy that, but I can buy a shotgun. Let's do that. A shotgun now. Body ball, uh, Judge followed by the. So, Judge is just a boss, I guess. Well. So, can I dodge through bullets? That's what I'm wondering, because. It seems like I. Need to. How? I mean, maybe not. Whoa, okay. I also got a little bit of bullet hell going on. Well, I guess that's what? It's the gungeon and whatnot. Also have a little bit of It must be able to dodge through bullets or something like Ah I got cocky a little bit. Yeah. Alright. Well uh yeah, this game seems solid, like it's fast paced, it's uh you know it, it feels good to you know, kill enemies, all that stuff. Ground pound. Oh. Okay. Like that. There's a little thing going across the floor there, I think. Yeah. I, it's two buttons that I don't even know what really do. Like, what's it again? Like, fill your tag and block movement. Like, what's that even mean? I don't have anything to do that, like it doesn't do anything to yet so Oh wait, okay. Okay, so block movement. Yeah, if if I hold it it will just drop me dead. I guess that's Yeah, if you just Yeah, because moving if I move around and attack around me like that, I kinda move, that may not be a good idea, so if I do this I can like Stand still and do it. I guess that's what it's used for, and I guess just dropping dead if you need to. Uh, but I don't know what the fury attack is all about. So, yeah, uh, that's Ghost Springer. Uh, Ghost Springer? Whatever. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> anyway, that's the game. Check it out. It's an early access, so uh, that's, that's, that's something obviously not finished, but. It does look like it's, you know, mostly finished. <laughs> Everything feels good. It uh, has a great style. I like it a lot. It's like... It's cute, almost. But also, you know... Gotta... There's, you know, blood here, obviously. Like, a little bit of dark elements. Uh, Eldritch elements, almost. A little bit, maybe. I don't, don't know what's going on in the store. We have a robot of sorts, so I don't know, but yeah. If you like these kind of games, you, you know, probably already knew this was something for you. But yeah, yeah. It's like Celeste meets uh, Fury and uh, Hyper Like Drift a little bit. That's what I would say. That seems to be a good comparison. And yeah, that's it. See you next time.